Hi guys and welcome to Python tutorial of how to encrypt and decrypt data. So let me show you guys this. In here I have a password or you can call it pin number or just keys. So if I click on encrypt the data in here there we go they are now all encrypted. So if I click on decrypt, there. Okay, that's what it's all about. So I'm gonna enter anyhow data in here now. Let's say it's 9,000, just paste anything in there. The same thing, you can encrypt. So you can see, and uh, you can decrypt. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Python development environment where we put one of these together. Okay guys, you need to import the following. And let's start our project. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all, let's define my function that I intend to use. So I'm going to call that encrypt. Underscore decrypt. There we go. Now in here, I'm just going to call that encrypt or encrypted data. Encrypted, that's going to be the variable that I intend to use and this very variable, that is where I'm going to enter all of the function that will officially get the data encrypted. So let's say space dot join and we then enter whatever character and we want you to then get it encrypted whatever we have inside the x okay and let's have our key in there and i'm also going to say four using a four loop statement for x in the text so I'm going to actually enter text in here inside here as my argument. So text and let's say we have key in there and make sure we return this. So what I will be returning is going to be this local variable that I call encrypt there. Now I'm going to call this inside my, let's put a Y in there, inside another function that I'm going to create right now. So let's come down in here and just say encrypt, I'm going to call that encrypt, yeah, that's just going to be the name of this one. Okay guys, I've uh, completed the function just to speed up things and below that I have the widget this one is just going to show where that's the frame that I store the label and the text entry that is it there and below it is the the one that just showed the title of plain text that is enter that is it why this one that is the widget text and i've also created another framework here and i now also added four buttons two for one for encrypt and the other one decrypt then we have reset and exit and that's it and the pro program there i'm going to save it now and let's run it and just take it from there so I'm going to call it test encrypt or I can just call it encrypt yt yt click on save there I'm going to run it just want to see how that's going to look like there that's it so we can always enter whatever in there but these are not working yet so let's come down here Now the next thing I'm going to do is to attach each of these to their 
different buttons. So let's say here that is going for to be for the encrypt. Copy that. Come right down here. Let's say command that will be equals encrypt. So if I run my program now, I should be able to encrypt my oh where is it? Run. Okay, in here let's say this is my password. And in here, let's grab hold of anything and just paste it there. I want all of that encrypted. Okay, it's telling me the encrypt the crypt is not defined. Okay, I need to get that defined. Let's see. Encrypt the crypt. Let's see that. Alright. I think I know what I did wrong. Okay, look here. There's an error here. Let's put a Y in there, get rid of that. And this one there should be Y here. Alright. So hopefully the spellings are taken care of those error all gone. So let's run it now and see. We're gonna run it again. And let's just enter our key then let's try to see if we can encrypt that there we go look at that okay that is working so i now need to just decrypt so to decrypt all i'm going to do is see these lines of code here i'm going to copy it come right down here paste and i'll just change this one here to decrypt so come in here just there we go and i'm going to change this as well to decrypt there okay i'm going to now call oh this one needs to be changed to decrypt as well i'm now going to call decrypt this one inside a button decrypt here Hold on command equals decrypt so that is attached now I should be able to decrypt it with this so if I run and let's see here yeah, run enter let's see that is my Okay, 1209 and enter whatever in here. Or oh, we can copy something from Word. Let's copy this. Just paste it there. And encrypt. Then we want to decrypt it. We want to enter 1209 in here and get it decrypted. You see that? So that's how you create your encrypt and decrypting data. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to add the function for reset and exit. And right there, guys, that is the function for reset. And this is for exit. Okay. I'm going to call reset and exit. Let's come right here inside the button. Let's copy this this is reset and exit I think this is called I exit why this one is called reset there we go so both functions are called so have a good look at it take it from the top and here are my functions I know I've kind of like speed up this, but there's another tutorial where I actually go through it step by step. So have a good look at it. So let's run it. Run. And uh, let's enter whatever in there. Okay, encrypt. And if you want to decrypt, you must have the 
details okay so if you don't have that you will not be able to decrypt it i think that's what i entered yeah that's it okay so with that guys i'm calling the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and uh, let's just show you the lines of codes one more time there we go and bring it down and down and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel you all have a nice day now and bye for now